Okay, welcome to another lunar flight video. And today I thought we would uh, up the challenge a little bit and try one of the other maps. So we're going to go over to Mars. And Mars is listed here as an expert map. And I think until you get some upgrades, I think the Mars map is pretty much literally impossible. You know, you start off on map one, which is given an easy rating. And then, you know, once you maybe get an upgrade, although you don't really need an upgrade, uh, you can go on to map two, which is listed as medium, then map three, which is hard, and finally map four, which is uh, the Mars map, and it's considered expert. And I do have several upgrades in the um, module, whatever that thing is called, the, the lunar module that we're flying in. So we should be able to navigate Mars okay. Um, it will be a little bit more difficult than the moon because, you know, there's increased gravity. Uh, we have uh, an atmosphere on Mars and the program also simulates like Martian winds and stuff. So sometimes the you can get caught in a crosswind and it can really kind of mess up what you're trying to do. All right, so let's go into missions here. And we have, uh, you know, the usual, we have transport, data survey and lost cargo. I really do like the Lost Cargo missions, even though they're kind of the hardest ones. So let me go and try a Lost Cargo mission. So we are currently at Alpha, and we need to find, if we choose this Lost Cargo mission, we need to uh, find the cargo northwest of Alpha. So let's look at this one south of Delta, which is up there. So let's go ahead and start with this one which is northwest of Alpha and so we will accept that and we'll go to the cargo make sure our transponders on and it is and let's go to the map and let me just look one more time northwest of Alpha so we want to go uh, north and a little bit over this way so it's probably probably over here would be my guess all right let me grab the controller and we'll go ahead and get started here. So I've already got the ve the vessel completely fueled up, and I have three extra fuel modules, which we may very well end up needing, but we'll find out. And it looks like currently we have Alpha targeted, and I'm going to say that's probably okay. I don't think we'll go far enough to worry about landing over on Delta. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to press the right trigger, to get up off the, the little landing pad here, and then we'll use these right-left uh, shoulder bumps or, yeah, shoulder buttons to yaw the vessel over. So power up, a little bit of left shoulder button to yaw over, probably about right there, be my guess. And now we're just gonna start tilting, pitching the vessel over so we can get some forward movement. Uh, due to the increased gravity, we can't be as aggressive with our pitch as we can on the moon, or else we will our V rate will fall way off, and we'll end up crashing. But you can see the visibility is worse because we have these, you know, storm clouds. Really hard to see the ground. So I'll probably try to stay a bit closer to the ground, and hopefully get some feedback from the transponder because I don't know that we're going to have very much luck locating the module visually which is what I usually do on the moon all right so the V rates falling into the negative there so we want to watch that pitch the vessel back up a little bit make sure that our V rate stays positive and yeah I'm just constantly looking around probably going a bit more west than I should be. So let me actually put in some right translation to start pushing the vessel to the right a bit. But I don't have any idea where the lost cargo is at, so it's a, it's a very much a guessing game. I just know that it's somewhere northwest of Alpha. And right now we are currently northwest of Alpha, so hopefully we get something from the transponder soon. I wonder though, it might actually show up a little bit better against the red soil versus, you know, when you're on the moon. Need to straighten out my pitch here. My V rate's really falling off. 
because when you're on the moon, you know, you've got, you're looking for like a white object on a, on, you know, grayish soil. Okay, so, yeah, I don't know how far to go before I kind of give up and try another pass. I wonder if that's it. I think that's it right there. So we got fairly lucky this time. Yeah, I just saw, I just happened to look down to the left and I saw it sitting down there. Um, and we don't have to worry as much about canceling our forward velocity because the atmosphere takes care of quite a bit of that for us. But I think we're getting, okay, I can, you can see it right there down below the word distance. That's the module we're looking for. That's our lost cargo. So get a bit closer. And start canceling out some of that forward velocity. And now we'll just try to touch down right next to the module. All right, and we're down. So now we go to the cargo. And I'm going to go ahead and turn the transponder off, but I do need to get a little bit closer because I don't have the option to recover yet. So I'm just going to hover up, get a little bit closer, and touch back down. Okay, now we can recover it. And once that's recovered, of course, the vessel will be much heavier, and we'll definitely feel that feedback in the controller. And it looks like we're going to be taking this into Car uh, Charlie, so let's go to the map. And we'll go next, next. I don't actually know if you have to hit these or not, but I think I think when you do it puts it up here. Let me see how that works really quick. So I guess it's just automatic. So as soon as you are selecting Charlie, it automatically puts it up here. Alright, so now we want to hover up, rotate a bit clockwise, and head over towards Charlie. I'm actually thinking about making a detour to Delta to get more fuel. Let me actually let me make that the plan. Um, I do have these fuel modules, of course. Hmm. Let, yeah, let's just go ahead and use our fuel modules. So we'll hover up. Oh, boy, is that heavy. Wow, I can barely get this off the ground. I... All right, hang on. I'm, gonna, I'm definitely going to go to Delta now, now that I'm realizing how heavy this thing is. Okay, so we're going to go next. We're going to make Delta our interim uh, destination. All right, hover up and put in some right yaw. And there goes our fuel warning. We're half half used the, the fuel. Cancel out that yaw. Looks like we have some some roll in here as well. Wrong way. Boy, I may actually have to have another upgrade just to complete these missions. I don't know if I even have enough thrust to get up over the hill here. That you can get a thrust booster, but I can't. I didn't buy one, unfortunately. And I, yeah, I don't know if I can make it over this hill. We will see. Looks like our velocity vector is above the hill, so in theory we can get over it. Yeah, I'm definitely going to get a fuel module here, so let's... I'll probably end up burning all three of them just to get to Delta. Wow. Yeah, this is like flying the XR-5 Vanguard. <laughs> more forward velocity. Have to be careful not to scrape our landing feet on the cliff side here. A right, bit more forward velocity. This thing is heavy for sure. 
So yeah, I'll definitely, oops, didn't mean to put in that roll. Definitely have to look into buying a boost module when I'm on Mars. All right, I think we're gonna clear the hillside, so a bit more forward velocity. Barely clearing this hill. A bit more on the forward velocity. And we looks like I have another mountain range right in front of me. I am just barely clearing that ground there, as you can see in the external camera view. Okay, we got our warning. We've used half of our fuel again, but I think we can make it over to Delta now. But you can see this is quite a bit more challenging than the moon due to the increased gravity and the the, the resistance that we get from the wind and we've got a bit of a crosswind going on. You can see if I if I don't compensate for that crosswind it's my velocity vector is being pushed over to the right. Alright, a little more forward velocity. Okay, looks like we're still good to clear the top of the hill, barely. Put in a little bit of left velocity so I can aim for the in-between that cliff there. Yeah, I think for these lost cargo missions, if we could... So you got the map in the lower left and you got the other camera in the lower right. If we could do like we do an orbiter and have additional camera angles that we can add that might make those lost cargo missions a bit easier so that you don't have to pitch the vessel over to look down at the ground you can instead just choose a different camera angle all right time to fuel up okay so yeah i think we can make it to delta and i think it was a very good decision to choose delta as an interim stop and i think we will definitely have to invest into a boost module or something. Because this thing is just, yeah, it's like flying a tank. All right, so we're getting pretty close now to Delta. But I think I am going to end up using that third fuel module because there we are halfway down again see how far we can get with what we have left maybe we can make it over there we still have 350 meters to go yeah maybe maybe we don't need to use that last one I would certainly feel more comfortable if I had a bit more fuel so we may end up using it. We'll see. All right, I'm going to switch over to the C camera now because I like that one for landing. As far as I know, there aren't any controls you can use on the control stick to change camera views. You have to just reach over and click, which is fine, but sometimes that can be a little difficult when you're using both hands to control your vehicle. Okay, so we're almost there. Pretty sure we can land without using that additional module, fuel module. Okay, so just a few more meters to go. Probably going to get a warning on fuel here in a second. Okay, start slowing things down a little bit. I landed with full power. Like I had the trigger pulled all the way down and it was still sinking. Alright, let's go ahead and refuel and we'll go to cargo.
uh, rather go to missions and we how do, all right, how do we get rid of this cargo again? Oh right, I can't unload it here because I'm not at, I'm not at Charlie, I'm at Delta. All right, let me go into the shop. And I don't. Is it worth getting a boost? You get a, you get five seconds for three hundred percent power. I don't know if that's worth it or if I should just carry more fuel. I okay. I can afford this now. So let me go ahead and get the third level thrust upgrade because obviously I need it. And then I cannot buy more fuel. I don't know if I can make it over to Charlie with just the fuel plus one module. Let's give it a try though. This might not work. Alright, so we need to, del to deliver this to Charlie, so let's give it a shot. Uh, we have more efficient engines now, so yeah, I guess I can feel a bit of a difference there. Alright, so let's yaw over towards Charlie. Yeah, yeah, I can tell now that I have more power. Alright, pitch forward. We have to watch our V-rate carefully to make sure that we're continuing to climb. There's one thing, if you use all your fuel and you use all the fuel modules that you have, you can land, but there's nothing you can do. You Like, you can't you know, get out on foot or have anybody deliver fuel to you. So you just kind of lose the mission, apparently. All right, let me switch back over to the V-cam for now. Actually, that doesn't help very much. And we'll increase our angle of pitch here so we can add in some more forward velocity so we can get over to Charlie quickly. Have to watch our V-rate, though. Make sure we're staying positive or at least not dropping into the negative. The V-cam would be helpful if I if there wasn't a Martian dust storm preventing me from seeing where I'm going. But I think we might actually make it. Let me just go look forward for a second to make sure. Okay, I think we're good. So I'll pitch over more steeply just to increase our forward velocity. Okay, V-rate's dropping off very quickly, so let me pitch back a bit. All right, we'll go about right there for now. Because we do want to move over there, you know, fairly quickly because we don't have any money. Or rather, we didn't have enough money to buy a second and third fuel module. But these... Uh, the increased efficiency in these engines is something I can definitely feel. So very glad that I got that. But yeah, I think you do need to spend some time on the lower level maps so that you can earn enough money to buy upgrades for your ship. Okay. Put in a little bit of left translation. I think I'm probably good on forward velocity. We're still a bit out. I'm going to switch over to the C camera. Okay, yeah, I think we're probably good on forward velocity now, but you'll notice that as I, as soon as I stop applying velocity, it trickles off. But yeah, actually, I think I need to eliminate some of that forward velocity. say that should be good enough. The atmosphere should take care of the rest of it. I overdid it there a little bit. Should have kept in a little bit more of that forward velocity, but it's okay. I think it'll be okay. All right, let me translate a bit to the left because I want to make sure I'm clear of those guide wires by the antenna. Should be good now. Okay, cut.
cutting it pretty close on the fuel, but I think we've got it. And we do still have that additional fuel module if we absolutely need it, but I don't think we will. Yeah, I think we're okay. Now we just have to settle in for the landing. And we will have successfully found lost cargo. Okay, we're over the landing pad. Now just eliminate that velocity. And settle down. Gently-ish. Alright, we made it. Cool. So let's refuel. And we'll go to the cargo, and we can unload the cargo. And get our experience points and our money. Alright, don't save the replay. We got... 20... 5,000, so that's good. And let's just take a quick look at the shop. Don't think we can afford any more upgrades, because I think all the upgrades are 40,000. But we can buy more fuel now. Okay, so we have the maximum thrust. We have maximum fuel efficiency. We have maximum RCS. So I think the only one left is this one, is the stabilization. And that one isn't super important to me. All right, so that's going to be a success. We made it. Uh, so that's going to wrap it up for this lunar flight video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to leave a comment down below, and I will see you in the next video.